Are your digital photos scattered across endless folders and drives, making it impossible to find what you're looking for? Let me introduce you to my favorite photo organizing tool that will simplify your photo organizing journey, the Big Mean Folder Machine. I am a big fan of this program, but like any new tool, it can be a little bit daunting to get started. So today I'm gonna set you up for success with my clear step-by-step -step flow on how to use it to automatically sort your photo folders like a pro. So stick around because this could save you hours of work. Understanding the Big Mean Folder Machine. Before diving in, let's talk about what the Big Mean Folder Machine, or BMFM for short, actually does. The software is designed to help you merge multiple folders into one structure without losing files. Sort files by date, name, or custom criteria, automatically organizing your files into meaningful, manageable folders. It's perfect for anyone with years of photos scattered across multiple hard drives and devices. What we are going to focus on in this video is the sorting function, as to be honest, that's the only thing I've really used the BMFM for. Step one, install and set up. First, download and install the Big Mean Folder Machine. Unfortunately, it's only for the Mac, and if you find a Windows version out there, it's a copy and not very good, so don't do it. So head on over to the official website and choose the version for the Mac. Once installed, launch the program and you'll be greeted with a step-by-step -step wizard interface. It's straightforward and guides you through the process with prompts, but today I'm going to show you my simple workflow of how to use all these steps. Step two, select your action and add source folders. Now we need to select the action and also add our files. So select split files into multiple folders. Click continue and on the next screen, drag and drop the top level of the folder of files that you want to sort or you can use the plus sign in the bottom right to select your folder. Then click continue. Then select split into hierarchies and click continue. Step three, set up your folder levels. Now we need to choose the splitting criteria. You can select up to four levels of criteria that you want to run it through. It will do each sorting in order and then put it into the folders for those steps. For this, we are only going to sort photos into two levels. We are going to do the first level as year and the second level with year and month. So what we do in the first level, we're going to use photo shoot date because that's the date the photo was taken, which may be different to a creation date. So select that and go to photo shoot date, year, 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 year. Then click continue. For the second hierarchy level, we want the photo shoot month. But if we just pick the photo shoot month that we have here, we are just gonna get month, month. So we're gonna get 10 or 11, which doesn't tell us what year it was done. What I want is the year and then the month. So in order to do that, we are going to use the custom setting. So select custom and then in the pop-up, select photo shoot date, then click continue. Then for the date and time pattern, follow this four digit year month zero format. Make sure you put it exactly like this. I will put it down in the description below so you can copy and paste it because then it will give you your year, a space, and then a month in digits. You can see what it's going to look like in the purple writing under the input window. Then click continue and then finish. Now we're back at our screen, so click continue. For the third hierarchy level, we don't need it, so just leave it as none and click continue. Step four, what to do with issues. Now we need to choose what to do if the photo shoot date is missing, because sometimes that will happen, but also videos don't have a photo shoot date, they only have a capture date. So we need to decide what to do with them. So select a put in the others folder and you'll see what that means in a minute. Then click continue and for naming conflicts, just leave it as default. It will just create a new file name. Then click continue. Step five, where to put the sort and how to move them. In this screen, we then just need to decide where we're going to put our sort. 
So you then just need to click on browse and either create a new folder or select a folder that you already have. However, the folder can't be in the folders that you have loaded up to sort because poor BMFM will go nuts trying to sort that out. Click continue and then you have two options, either move or copy your files. My suggestion is to move them unless you wanna create a ton of duplicates, but the choice is yours. Click continue and on the next screen, select to show a preview so we can check the sort before it moves anything. Then click continue. Step six, review and see the magic. If you have a lot of files, it may take a while to come up with the preview screen, so you might have to go and leave it running. But once it's run, it will come up with a preview list. Have a check to make sure that you are happy with what is done. You'll see if I have a look at the others folder, I have a couple of issues. I've got all of my videos because as I said, they don't have a photo shoot date. You need to go and sort those by creation date. And also it looks like some of my image files, you can see I've got some JPEGs here, have got a little bit of an issue as well. So I'm gonna have to investigate those later, but I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna click continue and the magic will do its thing. My top tip is to make sure you have enough free storage space for your newly merged folder to avoid any interruptions. Step seven, verify and backup. After the process is complete, take a moment to verify that everything is organized correctly. Open the folders to ensure your photos are where you are expecting them to be. Once satisfied, Back up your newly organized collection to an external hard drive or cloud service to keep your work safe. My pro top tip. Here's my game changing tip. Use the Big Me folder machine regularly. Don't wait until you have a mountain of photos to deal with. After every major event or yearly archive, run your photos through BMFM to keep your collection tidy and up to date. There you have it, your starter guide to using the Big Mean Folder Machine for photo organizing. With this tool and workflow, you can turn chaos into clarity and enjoy your photo memories stress-free. But what if you think you have a ton of duplicates in your photos? Well, then check out this other video next to find out about my favorite deduplication tools. If you found this guide helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more tips on managing your photo collection. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.